Right now on KSAT.com, the city of San Antonio's Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Commission has kicked off its eighth annual art contest. The yearly contest celebrates the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The art competition is open to all Bear County residents. However, students are highly encouraged to participate. The deadline for entries is November 14th at 5 p.m. The winning piece will be used for promotional posters for the 2023 Martin Luther King Jr. events on January 16th. You can find more information about the kind of art accepted on KSAT.com. All right, let's get you one final look at the remainder of our Friday. Absolutely beautiful afternoon in place. Plenty of sunshine, those highs climbing into the low to mid 80s and maybe a little bit of a south southwest breeze out there this afternoon and into the early evening. That breeze picks up tomorrow and into Sunday. More moisture arrives and those temperatures continue to warm. It's a muggy start to next week, but then we see that next front move in Monday night, early Tuesday that will filter in another taste of some of those fall like temperatures by the middle of next week and also give us our next chance for rain. So we'll keep eyes on it. And if you like the Sanderson sisters, zombies, cheesecake, and cheesecake <laughs> and all the pastries in the world. <laughs> SA Life has that for you today. And that's starting right now. Celebrate San Antonio coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, hello and happy Friday and happy it is because look at those fantastic brunch items. Oh my goodness mm -hmm. gracious. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage and oh my goodness gracious, mm -hmm. we have got some really good food on here. But as you saw, mm -hmm. zombie invasion, they've kind of, uh, I don't know, left the building as of right now. <laughs> but we have a question for you. Yes. Zombie invasion. Okay. Which Disney villain or hero would you have on your side to fight zombies with? I'm going to go with Maleficent. I'm going with Tinkerbell. All she has to do is go bink and they're gone. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just I, 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 I thought the zombies don't have a can of Raid laying around. <laughs> okay, so, so let us know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter. You might see your answer in the show. All right, it's fall. It's Halloween season. They smell the bacon. Yes. Oh, okay. oh, and it's beer week here in the Alamo City, and one family-owned and operated brewery can help you celebrate all the things, all yep. of it. Yes, indeed. And Jared uh, Catoni, who is the chef over at De Serino's Brewery, is here with some of the great brunch items, some of the new beers and uh, some bacon to keep the zombies or attract the zombies, one of the two. <laughs> anyway, good to see you, sir. Yes, yes, nice to see you. All right, what are we whipping up here? All right, so he's got bacon going right now. Mm -hmm. um, no brunch is good without bacon, obviously. Uh, so he's also got, uh, he's going to be putting some uh, pumpkin spice latte French toast on the grill next. Ooh. So what's in, what's in the dip? Uh, so mm. lots of pumpkin, mm -hmm. lots of espresso. Uh, espresso. Egg, pumpkin spice, cream, yes, so... Uh, basically anything that you would get in a pumpkin latte plus your your regular French toast fixings. And what kind of bread you got on here? Uh, so that is going to be sourdough bread from New World Bakery out of Kyle, Texas. Okay. And sourdough makes a good stuff. I always said brioche is a real good bread too, but sourdough is a good, a good French toast bread? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, yeah, as you see, it's been sitting out for a little while. Uh, got a little s nice and stale to it. It's going to soak up all those good flavors and, and have a nice texture to it as well. And right. that's one of the tricks of doing a French toast oh, like that is to, yeah. is to let the bread set out. Mm -hmm. You want mm -hmm. your bread a little bit stale and nice and dry. Uh, so it, it it's a little bit more absorbent yeah. that way, yeah. yeah. It okay. picks up all the great flavors that we put in the batter. So. Okay. All right. And you have a couple other dishes here too, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yes. Um, so this is going to be our peaches and goat cheese French toast. Oh. Uh, so we are goat cheese. Goat cheese. Goat cheese. Okay. Um, so it's a little brown sugar peaches on top, um, and then goat cheese crumbles. We're actually going to uh, be brulee-ing that. Um, I have my handy dandy torch here okay. as well, so we can okay. do that whenever you okay. would like. Um, yeah, we can. Do, then, we can knock right, that out yeah, right now. Absolutely. Is it ready to go? Okay. Uh, so we're just. Seen See the cheese cheese brulee. Brulee before. Yes. Okay. Did you want to have some fun okay. with that? Go ahead. He's stand That'll back. save you from the zombies yeah. too. <laughs> I'm gonna need this. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the syrup that's got beer in it, right? Yes, Tell us absolutely. About that. So uh, we do beer syrup. Um, we have. 20 different taps. Mike, uh, our, our owner and brewer, has 70 different recipes. Um, we always use those beers to make our, our syrups and 
plus other things that we have on the menu And you as said well. that's like an Irish stout yeah, beer. Yeah, it's I our Morgan Irish stout. It's going to be the, the one in the small glass right in the front there, the dark one. And this makes a good... A good syrup. How Absolutely. Do, how do you make beer into syrup? I mean. <laughs> uh, it's it's really uh, um, just a lot of uh, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> to balance out the beer. But he, uh, Mike and, and his son Jacob, they uh, they do such a great job on, on building all these flavors in our beers that I'm just borrowing flavors from them and drizzling it on a French toast. You know, and what's interesting is, because I was expecting like a Guinness type mm -hmm. with that really bite to it, but that's a really smooth, it, drinkable It's a little stout. bit more subtle than a, than a Guinness would be, absolutely. Yeah, I can see why that makes a good uh, makes a good syrup. Yes. So. What else is on the, the brunch menu? Um, so right now for, for fall, we're going to be featuring the pumpkin French mm -hmm. toast. Mm -hmm. um, we also have uh, some savory options. We do moco, a moco loco, which is a Hawaiian dish with uh, rice, brown gravy, and uh, um, burger patties. Uh, and we use just this incredible uh, local uh, Wagyu beef for our burger patties as well. Um, also, we have uh, shrimp and grits is another one of our savory items. Uh, Lemon ricotta pancakes, uh, a couple other French toasts, sweet, savory. Uh, we also serve our, our full menu all day long during brunch. So if you want chicken wings, a burger, uh, all that stuff's available oh, as well. And, and it all goes great with the beer. And that right there, I Dessert? mean, there's not enough purple food, right? There's <laughs> not, not enough, enough purple, purple food. food. You're right. Mm -hmm. okay. What is that? Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a purple yam cheesecake. Uh, it's it's a, a cousin of the, the traditional uh, orange sweet potato. Um, but obviously, as you can see, there's not a drop of food coloring in there. That's all natural color. <laughs> I, I just can't. I Absolutely. Have to, I have to know. Yeah. Mm. Stab, oh, stab me a piece. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then what do you put on top? The, uh, so the, that's a, a citrus, a coconut citrus glaze, and then mm. just a little bit of toasted coconut on top as well. Mm. Oh wow. Okay. And beer week, of course, happening right now. Yes. Uh, to celebrate, we also brought with us our San Antonio Beer Week Pale Ale. Um, that's going to be this one here. That okay. one there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Roast. So that's the one that's debuting? Yes. Yeah, we just tapped that one this week. Uh, this beer here is going to be our, nice our Aries Marzen. That's one of our Oktoberfest beers, because it's still October. Mm -hmm. We're celebrating that as well. And then um, it's going to be a honey pale ale down on the other side. Uh, All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. for your anniversary coming up in December. Mm, December okay. 10th, we're going to have a huge party. Um, we're at 231 Savayos mm -hmm. uh, in kind Southtown. Kind of there by Blue Star? Right down the street okay. from Blue Star Complex. Mm -hmm. All right, don't forget you can grab brunch every Saturday and Sunday, and then there's Thursdays. brunch all day Thursday. Yeah. Brunch all day Thursday, Saturday and Sunday, it's 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. For more, just head to our website, salive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Okay. All right, the pumpkin so. Pumpkin French toast is really good. Some of us have those neighbors that go, you know, all out when it comes to Halloween displays. No, you. No, her. too. Her. You, oh, too. Her. <laughs> anyway, gender bias, trust me. Trick or treaters. <laughs> It's a musty spot in the Deco District for the ultimate Halloween happy space. So we had to come check it out. Oh, looks like some heads are about to roll. We match, and your hair looks pretty good too. It's not a scary, you know, gross, gory haunt. This is a fun one for kids. We intentionally make a lot of fun and humorous things. Um, like if you read all the tombstones, they're all fun little limericks and silly tongue-in-cheek things. I used to live on a cul-de-sac, a teeny tiny cul-de-sac, and we were in the back of the neighborhood, we'd get like six kids. But of course, I still went nuts. And uh, so when I married Margaret and moved in here, I suddenly had this huge space and I was like, oh, this is going to be great. And she's, you know, patted me on the head because I'm saying, I'm going to use the whole yard. She's like, no, you won't. I use the whole yard. We have a little certain areas that we start playing with. Like we had the pirate area. We have our mutant plant area. We have our geriatric skeleton area, which, you know, as the skeletons get older and older, they start falling apart. And so we decided, oh, we'll make fun of that and have this geriatric you know, area sponsored by Crossbones Ale, which is our, we made our own little bottles, supposedly, of uh, this Crossbones Ale for the pirate area. Of the items you'll see with the displays are recycled like this thing right here used to be a Duracell battery display now it's this guy's dungeon pretty cool huh <laughs> 
a lot of things we do with the tiny ones that are kind of scared is like, no, no, it's all pretend, look. We have a, a big, huge spider we bring out just on Halloween, and he's real soft and furry, and he's like, yeah, look, he's soft, he's soft. And then they, you show the kids that, and then they're not spooked by it anymore. This is our, yeah, this is our twister board for the, the, the skeletons. They have like to have something to do. But don't ever, don't ever play against the skeletons because they have a tendency to cheat and, and take their arms and legs off and put them on the colors. So they, they can compete better than you can. So can I help you with this? Sure. If you'll hand me the sledgehammer mm -hmm. <laughs> and two of those uh, rebar pieces, then we'll sit his feet up. Rebar is a wonderful tool for this. And then we can wire his feet to it, and so he stays in place really well. And we're in the ritzy part of the cemetery here with like Bella Lugosi and Elsa Lancaster and all the classics. Obviously the rebar and the wire is a big tool for us. Perfect, I love it. But that's the thing about uh, skeletons is they cheat. <laughs> And on Halloween night? We try to give out the little chocolate bars, the little ones, you know, not the horrible candy. Although we also give out the Smarties because we've always loved the Smarties for Halloween. That's always been a Halloween thing. So we'll give kids the option, you know, whichever they like. Or of course, they can have yummy cockroaches. <laughs> it was kind of a joke at first. You want a candy or a cockroach? And then so many kids wanted the cockroaches. Now we have to order a whole bunch of cockroaches every year. And you don't have to be a kid to trick or treat. So if you're a bigger kid, that's fine too. We don't mind that. You guys okay out there? I don't know. You think they need a drink? Probably need a drink. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll get they them something, beer. right? Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having me. This is the ultimate Halloween happy space. Fun fact, you actually got married here. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. He popped out of a coffin. No joke. Okay, we're going to have to see some photos. Remember, you can come visit anytime this month. And uh, I'm not in a costume, but trick or treat. Yummy roach? Oh, okay. That'll do. I'll take it. I hear that wow. Right? They popped out of a coffin he to get po married. He popped out of a coffin. He popped out of a coffin. Was it just him or both of them? I think it was just him. Okay, I love all the actors' names on all the tombstones from all the, the great shows from the Munsters and Bella Lugosi and everybody. That's fantastic. Okay, so we're told thousands of visitors stop by and Michael has been doing this for years. He sets up everything with a little help from his daughter and it takes him until almost Thanksgiving to take it all down. I believe it. I yeah. can't believe he pulls it off by Thanksgiving. <laughs> I would almost have to leave it up all year. As he mentioned, visitors are welcome, so uh, stop on by and take a look. Very cool. I'm jealous of that place. <laughs> Still ahead on SA Live, are your kids a little young for Monsters this Halloween? The magical event where they can have, you know, not so spooky fun with fairy tale villains. But first, move over Halloween, the apocalypse has arrived. Yes, those are zombies where you and the family can have a real zombie war right here in town and how it's actually doing some good. That's next on SA Live. Yep, welcome to SA Live. It is complete zombie war takeover, complete with The Walking Dead. Four fun games, lots of participants, and no, those aren't news anchors before makeup. Those are some of the zombies. <laughs> Get ready to head, go ahead and with these creepy creatures. Lots of fun to be had. It's also for a really good cause happening this weekend. Yes, and we have a few zombies joining us today. Ah, oh, this okay. thing really goes. Including, oh, sorry. okay, we have Brian Carlston, school teacher here in town, but also president of iSchool 504. Oh, that Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Fun. It's good to I be feel here. I like I need something a little more powerful. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So tell us all about the zombie war, the zombie battle going on here. Yeah, the zombie war is going to be this Sunday at the 1850 settlement, and it's going to be Nerf activities, Nerf war, full with good for the entire family. Um, and there's going to be food vendors, there's going to be activities, there's going to be entertainment and inflatables, and it's good for the whole family, and also it's good for... Uh, the ones who can play are 12 and up. <laughs> 12 and up, all right. So 
all for a good cause too though, right? Yeah, we are sponsored by Freaky Finds, which is an amazing hub for all of your spooky and Halloween needs that's in uh, New Braunfels and San Marcos. And all of the benefit is going to iSchool 504, which is a school in Honduras designed for low-income families. And you do a lot of work with them. Tell I do. us a little bit about that. Yes, I used to live there. I used to be a teacher there. I'm now a teacher here in San Antonio and wanting to start this school in Honduras for low-income families who are um, usually not able to have an amazing bilingual education. About how many kids uh, are served by that school right now? So we're going to be serving probably 20 to 30 in the first year or two, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna grow one class at a time after that. So eventually, hundreds. Wonderful, okay. that's a great cause. Okay, tell the zombie mm -hmm. uh, experience coming, oh, what is in her mouth? I don't wanna know. Oh, good Lord. I don't anyway, wanna know. <laughs> uh, all the different games that can be played and a day-long event, basically, right? Yes, registration starts at one o'clock, we close at 10 o'clock, and there's going to be four games throughout the day. So if you're a fan of The Walking Dead or zombies in general, this is where you got to be. So 12 and up, and what do people need to know to sign up to play, and where is it? Yeah, it's going to be at the 1850 Settlement in San Antonio, and you can go to www.thezombieward.com, purchase your tickets there, and make sure to bring your own Nerf guns and your own Nerf darts. And bring your own costume, too. You might be able to... Yes, you can dress up any way that you want. We also need zombie volunteers. You can sign up through the website if you're interested in doing that. It is going to be cosplay, dress up however you want, just no masks. So some of the games, they're, the event goes 1 to 10, but the games are earlier, or set around 7, 7.30? Yeah, the games are actually going to start around 3, 3.30, okay. and it'll go all the way until about 8.30 at night, and there's going to be entertainment all throughout. And okay. food trucks and everything else. Yes. And plenty of zombies. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> all we'll right. Oh, well, the zombie war is this Sunday from 1 to 10 with games starting at 3. There will be food trucks, entertainment, and Nerf Wars. And guests 12 to 17, of course, need to have a parent to complete the waiver and you can purchase your tickets online head over to salive.com click on the as seen on sa live tab find the zombie war website zombies thank you very much well put okay so ahead on SA Live, the Seven Deadly Sins come alive in a one-night only performance where you can catch this live show tonight. And next, expecting and new moms need to stay healthy, what they need to know, and the event that can help them moving, get moving and get active. Welcome back to SA Live at Historic Market Square. There, well, there's a fun-filled event this weekend at Miller's Pond. It's the annual Baby Buggy Walk and Health Fair. And here to tell us more is Barbara Jardine with Metro Health. Welcome, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. All right, so tell folks about Metro Health's Healthy Start program. Yes, so Healthy Start is a no-cost parenting support program that um, is free to use. So we have a group of parenting support specialists who come to your home and they really help you every step of the way. So they're ensuring that you stay up to date with your prenatal appointments and then um, assist when baby's here. Okay, and so is it, of course it's important for pregnant women to get the care that they need, but every pregnancy is different, right? Just depending. Yes, and so um, if you're a new mom or expecting, um, one of the best things you can do is initiate that first trimester prenatal care. So having that first trimester care and ongoing prenatal care is one of the best things you can do. Um, your body is changing a lot during this time and it's important to have those changes monitored by a provider. And as far as, you know, infant loss, okay, who's at higher risk and what are some reasons for that? Yeah, so um, really good question. Um, our Metro Health Informatics team looks at um, birth outcomes across Bear County. And we've learned that between 2014 and 2018, unfortunately, um, babies who are born to black or African-American mothers are two times more likely to pass away before their first birthday compared to babies who are born to um, white mothers. Hispanic moms are also at an increased risk for this, but not nearly to the same intensity. And this can be attributed to multiple causes, um, like needing adequate access to perinatal um, education and support, um, and having strong support systems. But we also have to acknowledge the role that um, experiencing historic and ongoing racism has on the health of our moms. 
And so if we want to see these rates improve, we definitely need to keep our women of color at the center of this conversation. Right. And Healthy Start has events coming up. What can new and expecting mothers look forward to? Yes. So this Saturday, we have our annual baby buggy walk in the park. Um, it's going to be, uh, again, this Saturday at Miller's Pond Park at 10 a.m. We're going to have a lot of um, vendors there, some free health resources. Um, we're also going to have a one mile walk and a remembrance ceremony. Um, and so, yeah, really, um, it's fun for everyone. Uh, we try to balance the respect for mothers who've experienced loss and also engage families at the same time. Is there anything else pregnant women should know? Um, I would say, um, again, that access to prenatal care and adequate support systems are really key um, for having a healthy pregnancy. Um, and there's a lot more that goes into having a healthy pregnancy that hopefully we can be of assistance with at Baby Buggy Walk. And when they go to the event, there are other programs, of course, that will be there, right? Yes, so we will have groups from uh, diabetes prevention and management. We will also have our immunizations clinic there where we will have um, COVID and flu vaccines, um, lactation supports, um, and other things like that, for sure. All right, thank you so much. The annual Baby Buggy Walk is happening tomorrow, October 22nd, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Miller's Pond. That's at 6175 Old Pearsall Road. For more information on Metro Health, call 210-207-4725 or visit the website sanantonio.gov slash health. Barbara, thank you so much. Thank you. San Antonio Metropolitan Health District is also a presenting sponsor of Muertos Fest. The festival is taking place at Hemisphere next weekend, October 29th and 30th. Admission is free and open to the public. There will be four stages with live music, 80 Dia de Muertos altars, and special events for children and families. Still ahead on SA Live, from Halloween to New Year's, this place is packed with parties for the whole family. We get a preview of their holiday celebrations and how you can win a family four pack of tickets and a hotel stay. And next, we have some fun with your favorite fairy tale villains where you can find this one of a kind Halloween event and we play a little villain trivia. See what you know and what you don't. You're watching SA Live. We can get the most out of those costumes, start trick-or-treating a little bit early this weekend with uh, some of these lovely ladies. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're all gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> and a magical Halloween event for all of the little ones. Kayla Gavigan, owner of Once, in a Once Upon a Party, is here to tell us about what's new at Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Fest, the fourth one, yes, right? We're <laughs> so excited to be back in San Antonio this year again at the San Antonio Botanical mm -hmm. Garden. Um, this year it will be from uh, 4 to 8 on October 29th. And of course, we have some villains here. Oh, yes. And is that <laughs> what's new this year? Yes, we have expanded the lineup this year to be almost 30 different characters that guests can be able to interact with, take pictures, enjoy stage performances from, all of that. And also live animals, too. Yes, our friends at Once in a Wild will be bringing their animals, their creepy crawlers, and um, we'll be able to have some in-person encounters and uh, take photos with them as well. And will there be trick-or-treating for of the kids? Course. Of course. Yes, okay. of course. So coming costume, right? Yes, absolutely. All ages. <laughs> oh, there are some beautiful pictures. And this is <laughs> all over the Botanical Gardens. And you said there's different uh, ticket prices, levels. Yes, that you we can have buy. different levels. So general admission, our VIP, and then our VIP Plus. And based on which one, obviously there are different add-ons and things that um, you get with the different experiences uh, that you book for your tickets. So. And there's also stuff for the parents. Yes, absolutely. So in addition to the magical moments that you'll make with your families. Uh, we also have our rooftop bar, which Cruella will be hosting. Um, we'll also have uh, some live music. We'll have the live show at the end of the night for all of our guests to enjoy. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And you kind of touched on this a little bit, but the villain experience? Yes, we will have. So in addition to being able, able to meet a lot of our villains, um, we'll have our live show at the end of the night. Um, and for our VIP and VIP Plus guests, they'll also get to take a picture with all of the villains at the oh, very wow. end. So nice big group villainous picture. <laughs> okay. All right, we have yes. a little bit of uh, a trivia. Villain. Oh, oh trivia. yes, we do. We have some trivia. So okay. let's test okay. your uh, spooky knowledge. Which villain is best known for her love of fashion and fur? Uh, uh, Corolla de Ville. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was good. Okay. No, this one's a little harder. Which 90s movie featured a fearsome villain called Frollo? Frollo? Froyo? Frollo? Yes, Frollo. <laughs> uh, um, 
Tough one. Mm. It's... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, what is it? What's the answer? I know people Aladdin. are probably yelling it out. It's not <laughs> Aladdin. Know. Aladdin. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, okay, this one might be a little easier. Yes, this one. Uh, let's see. Which Moana character sings Shiny, a track inspired by star David Bowie? Moana. <laughs> no, not quite. It's a villain, come on. Oh, yeah, <laughs> good duh. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Uh -huh. He's a giant crab. A giant crab. He loves things uh, that are shiny. I'll say uh, tomato one. <laughs> yes, Tomatoa. that's good. You're Tomatoa. reading Tomatoa. it off the screen. <laughs> oh, that's, that's right. It's right there on the screen. Your earpiece isn't working. Oh, no. The producer said read okay. it off the screen. Okay, all right, all right. All right. One more. Okay. Here we go. Uh, who was the first villain to star in a full-length animated movie? Captain Hook. Oh no! Um, um, First villain. She oh. might be the, the present. The, yeah, the, the evil queen. Yes. From, Good uh, job, Fiona. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What color is Hades' flaming hair in Hercules? Orange. Uh, quite orange. hotter than orange. Red. No. Oh. Purple. Purple. No. White. Blue. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Here's a Toy Story one. What was the name of Toy Story's villainous child known for burning and mistreating his toys? I know people. Are, I know people are yelling it to, to the TV right now. Because I love Toy Story. Have them tell you, because mine's not working. What is it? Sid. Sid. Yeah. It's on the screen. Okay. What oh, yeah. group of insect bullies? Oh, wait, sorry. What group of insects bully and intimidate the ants in oh, a bug's yeah. life? Oh, yeah. Oh, the, yeah. the hornets. Close. Close. Yeah. The, the wasps. Wasps. No. no. The cockroaches. <laughs> Just start well, naming all of them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a little more tie. springy. <laughs> Just yes. <laughs> like this. Okay, right. last one. <laughs> Madam Mim is the villain in which Disney movie? What is it? We're Sword running time. and the Stone. Ah, okay. Vivian and Bobby Blue <laughs> yes. Fest is happening Saturday, the 29th, from 4 to 8 p.m. San Antonio Botanical Garden. Go online. Tickets, uh, set up a link on our website, essaylive.com. Just go there and the, the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you very much. And all of the lovely ladies that have Thank joined us. Thank you. <laughs> all right, next on SA Live, the seven deadly sins come to life on stage where you can see this thrilling show and we chat with one of the performers. Spooky and scary, but also fierce and fabulous. The 11th annual Night of the Living Drag, featuring some of the top stars from RuPaul's Drag Race, is happening tonight at the Majestic Theater. And our producer, Robert Morin, got to chat with one of the performers about tonight's show. She's the official lip sync assassin from season 14 of RuPaul's Drag Race, Deja Sky. Thank you for taking some time to chat with me. Of course, and don't you forget it, America, the official, okay? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Named by uh, Mama Ru herself. And that's all that matters. She's cutting yes. the checks, no one else. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, Deja, tell me about Night of the Living Drag. Tell me about the show. It is a drag extravaganza. We have every single person being a um, sort of Sin, if you will. And then, of course, we have Miss Evie Audley, who was recently on All Star Season 7 as the host. We have aerialists, backup dancers, costumes, and most importantly, me. I'll be there. <laughs> of, course, of course, of course. What are some of the like spooky or like Halloween elements of the show? You know, I think every single number tried to kind of bring in the Halloween aspect. We obviously have the most successful uh, tour in the world named Work the World. So we wanted to differentiate from that. So everything has a little bit of a twist. Everything has a little bit of a extra, you know, bloody element to it. So I'm excited for everyone to see. Awesome. awesome. Can you tell me a little bit about like your uh, part of the show? Sure. So um, I was assigned greed, which I am not at all. The only thing that I love more than life is sleep. But anyways, <laughs> um, so I'm basically being like a Queen Midas, if you will. Um, totally in love with uh, the gold and money and everything and nothing's ever good enough and I'm always looking for more so kind of going with that but I can't give away too much because I want you guys to come out and see it. <laughs> okay besides your own part of course um who, who what other queen are you most excited about their performance? 
Oh my God, I'm most excited for my sister, Miss Lady Camden. Uh, she kind of gave me a little bit of rundown. She's doing Pride, but I know that this number means so much to her. And so I'm really excited for you guys to see it. It's gonna bring out her ballerina, of course, because Lady Camden is the lady of season 14. Okay, if someone's never been to a drag show, why should they come to this one? This is gonna give you full on production. Um, it's different from when you see a drag show in the club. You know, I mean, the, I'm a local girl. I'm a sweet mama. I'm in the club, breaking it down to some, you know, Lizzo and stuff. But this is a full on production. We have opening numbers, closing numbers, dancers, visuals, a stage. We have it all. And it really is almost like if you were to see a concert, if you will, or maybe something on like a low rent Broadway, this would be it. <laughs> like, like a Vegas style show? Oh, absolutely. Uh, 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 shameless plug. If you've never been to Vegas, of course, um, Boss Events, who is actually running the Night of the Living Drag and the RuPaul's Drag Race Vegas Review live. So come check it out, Vegas, at the Flamingo. Yeah, I should I should be wearing my uh, Drag Race Live shirt. I do have one. You have one? So yeah. you've seen it. I just went like two months ago. Bears, it's so yeah. good, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, so good. So good. You never know, you may see me there soon. I guess, hope so. <laughs> awesome, well thanks for taking the time with me, Deja. Uh, Thank man, you. <laughs> Well, the 11th annual RuPaul's Drag Race, Night of the Living Drag, is tonight at 8 at the Majestic Theater. There are limited spots available for you to do the meet and greet if you hope to nab one guest. Uh, if you want to go and nab one, guests should show up at 6 p.m. For more, more information and a link for tickets, just head to our website. Next on SA Live, it's never too early to start planning for the holidays where Santa's elves have already started working on a family fun party and how you can enter to win tickets for free. Stay with us. But first, with the cooler weather, it's a good time to get your furnace checked. And KSAT local expert John Wayne's service company shows us why. Hi, my name is Chris Moore with John Wayne Service Company. Today we're doing a heating precision tune-up for a customer of ours. Come on, let's go take a look. The reason for our call today is because the customer wants to get the furnace checked before we really get in to the winter time where the heating is going to be needed. We're going to check it for safety and for efficiency on our visit today. So right here, always check your filter. This is very important because this is actually what keeps the blower clean, the blower housing, the furnace. All the air translates from here all the way up through the rest of the system. So we need to make sure that the blower is staying clean. Filter looks good. Customer is keeping it changed out regularly. So what we just did was check for gas leaks and carbon monoxide for the customer. Results are, are good. There's no gas leaks, there's no carbon monoxide present in the furnace. So we just checked the gas pressure going to the manifold. The pressure is reading within the tolerance level. That's basically letting the furnace operate at its full potential. Next, we're gonna reopen up the furnace and inspect the blower. We're gonna run our vacuum through there to ensure that it's nice clean air being transferred through the entire system. So the precision heating check is complete. The system itself is not leaking any gas, no carbon monoxide. We checked the overall efficiency of the system so the customer is gonna feel confident getting this fired up for the winter time ahead. Well, that's it from here. Again, my name is Chris with John Wayne Service Company. If you feel like your furnace could use a tune-up, give us a call or visit us at johnwayne.com. Well, the holidays at Moody Gardens are back and bigger than ever with family fun from Halloween all the way through New Year's and here with everything you need to know about this Texas vacation spot is communications coordinator Maddie Collins. Pay attention because you got a lot to talk about, don't you? Yes, thank you so much for having me. Yes, so I know it's a little bit early, but we are gearing up for holidays already. So we have exciting news this year. Iceland is back after two years with a Caribbean Christmas theme. So we're super excited to have it back. Our ice tent is up in the parking lot. The ice carvers are here and they are carving 2 million pounds of ice by hand. Okay, 
Let's not forget about Halloween though, because yes. the decorations are up. What's yes, going on for course. Halloween? Yes, so uh, later on this month, we have a booze cruise. So it's on our Kernel Wheel paddle boat. It sails out throughout the bay. We have fun drinks, appetizers, dance party, uh, Halloween costume competition. So lots of fun for the family. Okay, and it seems like this time of year then, once we hit Halloween, it just goes right on through. So next in line, Thanksgiving and then the Christmas season. What's going on for Thanksgiving? Yes. So Thanksgiving, we have buffets at the hotel. So you can leave the cooking and cleaning to us and just enjoy time with your family. So a few different um, Thanksgiving buffets and then we gear right into the holidays. So all of our holiday festivities are from November 19th to January 7th. So we have Iceland, Festival of Lights, which is millions of lights along a trail throughout Moody Gardens. We have hot cocoa along the way, Aww. s'mores. Aww. Ice skating is back this year, so you can ice skate with the family. Um, plenty going on this holiday season. And not only can you do Thanksgiving dinner there, but Christmas dinner too. And then there's Christmas and a show. Yes, so you can have Christmas at uh, Moody Gardens. We have our buffets going on. And then we have a Cirque de Joy show, which is kind of like a Cirque de Soleil dinner and show throughout the month of December. And then we head into New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's for New Year's then? I'm yes, so for New Year's we I'm have... All, I'm all partied out right now. Yes, so. we have a New Year's Palooza going on, so it's a family-friendly um, New Year's celebration going on at the hotel. So you can stay for the weekend, um, enjoy ringing in the New Year with us. So there's still reservations available for everything you just talked about? Everything from now through January 7th. You can spend the holidays with us. We're just a quick drive away, so you can book the hotel, park your car, and hang out for the entire weekend. Oh, that's the, the fantastic thing. You, like you said, you don't have to worry about cooking. You don't have to worry about cleaning up. Yes. You have to drive, just stay right there, right? Yes. And best part is you've got a nice giveaway going on. Yes, we have a super fun giveaway going on. We're giving away a grand prize, which includes all the holiday festivities, a hotel stay, golf, and then we're doing a few family four-pack giveaways as well. All right, well, go to salive.com right now to enter to win a family four-pack of tickets and grand prize giveaways, including, as she said, hotel stay at Moody Gardens. Boy, the elves have been busy already yes, all the way through New Year's, like she said. And to book your stay or for more information, call 409-744-4673 or visit the website moodygardens.org. Maddie, thank you very much. Thank you. Monday on SA Live, Drop Dead Undead. One of the scariest haunted houses is transforming us into frightening monsters. Plus, eat some drinks so good you could scream where you can get these tasty treats and the halloween event it's all about and it's all about food it's monday at one right here on sa live